Hello, my name is Reshma. Here I'll be presenting you with a series of tutorials where I'll be showing you how you can install WAMP server on your computer, how you can install WordPress and start creating websites with WordPress. So I've seen many times that people get panic when they make some mistakes while creating websites. But don't worry, it's not as tough as you think. It's just a matter of understanding the basics. So what I would suggest is that before you actually get yourself a domain name and put your website on an online server, just try your hands in creating websites on an offline server, okay? And having a local web server in your computer means that you can test your work and perform web development tasks offline, which would obviously ensure that you avoid some major down times when you put your website on an online server. Okay, so don't worry, just sit back and relax and watch what I'm showing you. So today in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can install WAMP server on your computer. Okay, so for that, uh, let's get started. You have to come to vampserver.com. Okay, and here is the website. Now what you need to do is you have to come to downloads and start downloading vamp server okay i'm downloading here 32 bits so click on it download and let's wait while it gets download okay all right it is getting downloaded here and here as you can see my vamp server is downloaded it's on my desktop so I'll go to my desktop you can see the icon here of MAM server now all you need to do is you need to double click on it and here we go click on next accept next as you can see here the WAMP folder by default it goes to your C drive okay now next if you want to create a quick launch icon or desktop icon next and install and it's almost getting finished okay now as you can see here it is asking you to choose a default browser here by default it's explorer if you have got any other web browser on your computer you can go and select the file and click on open now here you can leave the default values like localhost and email and now click on finish Soon after the installation of WAMP server, you can go to your C drive, okay, and here you will find a WAMP folder, and these are the contents of your WAMP server. Now one thing which I need to remind you is that every time you turn on your computer and you want to work on your local web server, you need to turn on your local host. For that, you just need to click on the WAMP server icon here okay and as soon as you will start your WAMP server you will find this green WAMP server icon here which shows that the server is online the green color shows that the server is online if you want to put it offline you can click on it and you can put it offline from here now the next thing what you need to check is whether your WAMP server is working properly for that you need to go to your browser and type in your localhost address and here we go you have got your vam server home page it means yeah that your vam server is working properly so this is how you can install vam server on your computer okay so i hope this video helped you to understand the basics of how you can install vam server and thanks so much for watching this video